guys, welcome back to another episode. It's 4.30 in the morning uh, and it's a super low tide this morning. So we're gonna go out to the spot that we normally take the tours. We've got Caitlin here. I don't know if you can see anyone. Caitlin, um, Danny, Remy, oh. and Xanderman, the official photographer, oh. down there. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna go out and see if we can get on the island. We are the yellow submarine, the yellow submarine. Are you ready? Yes. So, the girls are a bit sooky. Where's Danny? I'm here. A bit sooky, is it a bit cold? It's a little fresh. Oh, it's freezing. Um, it's so warm. Oh, she said the water was cold. I mean warm. It's warm, isn't it warm? No. No -ish. You make it look so cold. So you're delivering the phone? Oh yeah, wait, I need a phone. Get your phone. Where is it? Pardon? Oh. There's Remy. Hi, Remy. Hi, Remy. <laughs> Why do you always say hi, Remy? I know. I'm just making you oh, <laughs> It's really cold. Um, <laughs> it's not that cold. Yeah, Embrace it's it. Going in the water. I am in the water, Zander. Uh, Embrace it. Uh, We're in the water. <laughs> oh, jacket. Uh, jacket. Oh, there's just some sun licking under the glass. You don't have a spare rash. You're so on our resistance. No, I've just got my work shirt. Oh, damn it. That's that that out. All right, so Xanderman and I are making our way out. This is the boat here. Obviously, it's pretty shallow. We're going to go through a deeper spot and then over to really shallow water. Just over this way where we'll catch up with the rest of the crew. You can see them out there. They're marine biologying around. Meet Ocean L. Hi. Hit her up on Instagram. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I didn't even know. Look how cool this looks. Yeah. How come I get to do this with a child on my shoulders? <laughs> like you. <laughs> and what's your Insta? Em? Oh. Have you got like a pseudo Insta? No. No. Mine's just Emma Wilkins. <laughs> My underwater model. No. And I've got many Instagram handles. <laughs> that looks cool with the sun. So this is the this here is the coral from our shirts. This is the coral here from our shirts. Oh. 
I wonder if this will bleach now. So we did see last time we had some really low tides that some of the stag corals over there were bleaching. But Caitlin... Can I film myself? I don't want you to film anything. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm filming you now and that's going on the shot. Nah. <laughs> so we've got a super low tide this morning. So generally on a low tide this wouldn't be out of the water. But the coral... It makes this little um, protective mucus so that when this does happen, the coral is a little bit protected. So um, you can see up close that shine. So it's really slimy and that helps to protect it from the air. So we're lucky for this one, it's happening really early in the morning. So the sun's only just come up um, so it's not too hot right now, it's pretty windy as well, um, but on some of the coral you can see from the last time this happened, which was a lot later in the day, that some of the tips have bleached, so they'll now um, be dead, but hopefully because this one's a little bit earlier, um, the coral will be okay. You can see up really close like this, all of the tiny little cups on the coral, and each one of those little cups are what houses a little coral polyp. So they make those little cups around themselves and that's what builds the coral structure. actually poo out <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the right word but they can actually um, yeah create 70 to 450 kilos of sand a year depending on how big parrotfish is so next time you're at the beach just remember that you're lying on lots of parrotfish poo oh wait I'll go with my foot in bunch oh. then I'll go with my foot in bunch <laughs> When we started at the beginning of this year, this coral here, cabbage coral, which is a fancy name, what's, what's its fancy name? I don't actually know. Uh, I think it's a, is it an aquacora? I don't think so. I think so. Anyway, um, oh, look at all the fish here. This is actually a cleaning station down here. Caitlin can show you with some underwater shots of that go, bro. Uh, but here, this sand has moved across here, across here. Uh, and there were some neon chromes that used to hang out in this corner here, but now the sand's moved over over the last year. And slowly but surely this sand here is going to inundate this coral. Caitlin's in there getting the shot for you of the fish cleaning station. So we'll do another episode later on on fish cleaning stations. Uh, and we'll talk about that another time. factual. Yes. We're having a we're having an off-camera discussion that I'm pointing the camera at. <laughs> you sound like it was really convincing. No. What's Remy saying? Yes. The mucus is there all the time. <laughs> Oh, 
I think it's still underwater and I think you're going to go through the water. Let's we'll just put the drone up. All right, we're going. all we've got for you this time i hope you really enjoyed the video we're trying to bring you some more educational stuff um, if there's anything that you're particularly interested in let us know we'd love to hear from you drop us a comment below and um, yeah we'll try and make a video we've got a lot of ideas of stuff that we want to do but if there's anything that you guys are particularly interested in definitely let us know in the comments below and we'll give it a go the crew and i are all really passionate about the reef here and um, we love sharing it with you guys and this is just a way of us extending what we do on the tour already out to the big wide world. All right, so yeah, hope you enjoy yourselves. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.